Ongoing corruption scandals are shaking lawmakers from Annapolis to Baltimore. This week, one delegate resigned. Another will not be sworn in. And a former delegate signed a plea deal. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at federal court. He just spoke one-on-one -on -one with the U.S. attorney about stopping corruption. Mike? Well, Jessica, these are the kinds of cases that make people lose faith in their elected officials. In one case, former delegate Will Compost accepted a, a, a big envelope full of cash in a restaurant bathroom. And according to federal prosecutors, he used, got money from sham nonprofits. Corruption investigations have jolted Maryland with several rising political stars embroiled in scandals. One, an ongoing and massive federal bribery investigation, has already led to a guilty plea from former delegate Will Campos, a founder of Maryland's Hispanic Caucus. U.S. Attorney Rod Rosenstein has handled the case, which involves at least 30 months of wiretaps and lawmakers taking bribes for, among other things, liquor licenses in Prince George's County. Corruption is a top priority for us. Obstruction is an even more significant priority. That is, if people are actively attempting to interfere with federal prosecutors and investigators. Another powerful longtime delegate Michael Vaughn resigned less than an hour before the start of the session, citing health concerns. According to published reports, he matches the description of a lawmaker currently under investigation. Our goal is to put fear into the criminals who are out there committing corruption. Another rising star, Gary Brown Jr., a close aide to Baltimore Mayor Catherine Pugh, is under a separate investigation by the state prosecutor. His swearing in as a delegate has now been canceled. Brown faces an indictment he illegally funneled $18,000 to relatives, then into the mayor's campaign coffers, violating the limit for an individual donor. Brown still works for the mayor. I always stand on the side that people have the right uh, to, you know, if you're innocent, until proven otherwise. Mayor Pugh answered questions about Brown for the first time and says she's reviewing her campaign finances. We raised uh, over $2 million, and if uh, there is anything wrong with the funds that we receive, they would go back. And Mr. Brown does face jail time if he is convicted, and he has yet to comment. Reporting live downtown, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you. Mayor Pugh says she has returned campaign donation checks in the past and will do so again if it becomes necessary.